Let's game. Today we're going to an undisclosed location. This is a different video than we've ever done. Me and Chris, we're going over to Dusty's. I don't even exactly know where this is, what it's gonna be. It might be his storage unit, him getting ready for the swap meet, loading up his car. I don't know, we're going now and it's gonna be a completely different video, but I've never more hyped because he did tell me some of the stuff he has. We're here. What's up? What do you think? What do you think is gonna be in here? What's Dusty gonna have for us? I don't know. I mean, I heard Taz T-shirts and video games. That's, uh, that's the hope. The hope. Or he's just pulling a Dusty and completely waxing us. And then yeah, never never know what he might have. So All right. we'll see. So we get here and it's pretty cool already. We kind of get an inside look at what's going on and what Dusty does and people who do this kind of stuff behind the scenes. First thing that happens is he pulls out some like Fangoria monster type magazines. These are already out, they're already here in the pile and Chris and I both kind of peaked about excitement for him but more of Chris's niche than me even though we're both huge horror guys, let me make that very clear. But Chris dives in, I think I'm gonna let him have first whack at this. What's up dude? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love it bro. Welcome to my, uh, my trash. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to preparation time. And not preparation H. I was gonna say that, dang it. <laughs> All right, we're here at Dusty's. What's up? The ultimate waxer. Oh yeah, Let's wax see. on, wax off. Woo! <sighs> Digging through all this stuff with Dusty is crazy. But you know what's even more crazy? People browsing the internet without NordVPN. NordVPN offers a 30 day money back guarantee on all purchases. Threat protection is a new feature specialized in protecting users from malware and other harmful sites. Oh, one of the biggest ways that Nord helps me is I'm always traveling all over the world going to a million different conventions just like you. And when I'm on the internet at places that I'm not familiar with, I don't wanna browse insecurely, so I use Nord to browse securely. Oh, and I can do all that with just one simple click. Nord is more than just a VPN. Its threat protection shields you from malware. Dark web monitor notifies you if someone leaks your credentials, and MeshNet allows you to connect to your devices remotely and securely. A huge problem these days is phishing. Well, not this type of phishing. I'm talking about internet phishing, where scammers can pretend to be someone you trust, like a bank, a friend, or a popular online service, to make you do something stupid, like enter your banking details on a fake website. But with NordVPN, the threat protection feature can recognize many malicious links and warn you about dangerous websites. Now to get your amazing deal, head on down to nordvpn.com slash pixelgamesquad. Nord has a 30 day money back guarantee, so yeah, it's risk free. And most importantly, it helps support the channel. Oh, that thing jiggles. So uh, tell us what what uh, what it, what are we doing? What's here? I mean, this is this like what? This is a uh, Golden West prep. This is Golden West preparation. Truck is still trash. Doing the sort down, and we're finding some interesting stuff. Yeah. This room is Golden West trash. So is this stuff that didn't sell at Golden West? No, this stuff's all going. This is all going to Golden this West. Is for Saturday. So this is the stuff when we go. So you guys know this is basically the stuff he pulls in. We come and pull out, apparently. And so. this, uh, this storage is actually being closed out today because this is five hundred and forty-nine dollars a month. Oh, wow! So, so that's why we get waxed. That's why you get waxed. But I was just sorting this truck. Look at the stuff I found. Oh wait, wait, wait! Look at this, Chris. You can come over here. Look at this. Oh yeah, I got magazines. Monster mag. Oh nice. Let's go. Like Look that. at this. <laughs> the old fems. I have the. Uh, I have the uh, Elvira cover, one of these. Yeah, they're great, dude. All those, Look uh, at that dark man. Reminds me so much of the animation. All the sci-fi magazines are great. In the NES games. How much for all of them? I'll make you a good price and I start building your pile. Ooh, he said make me a good price. You can, hey, Chris, get on in there, bro. Don't worry, come on in, bro. Here, let's put that in the video. So Chris was looking at some of this, potentially maybe wanting to buy some, but Dusty was saying, even you get waxed. You got waxed Oh yeah, so let me explain this. Storage is gamble. I bought a storage in LA, Sideshow toy boxes, big Sideshow monsters, looks great. $7,400 for the unit. And all the boxes are empty. And this is what I have to sell. This, so the, price, so the price in the box is $7,400. $7,400. Gotta make his money back. So it's always a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You know, so sometimes like when I buy like three rooms, then it might be to the point to where all three of them might make a little bit of money, or I sometimes come out and I break even. I think of Game Lot I recently sold you with a lot of 64 games yeah. and stuff. 
That was a thousand dollar room, and I think I charged you seven hundred dollars, and I noticed a lot of people cry. <laughs> <laughs> the audience you know? is, there's a lot of crying in the, in you know, the, so in the like, comments. You know, sometimes I'm getting waxed, sometimes you're getting waxed. Yep, we wax That's each other. Wax on, wax yeah. off, baby. So, Dust pulls out games, and it's not just like, oh, I'm pulling out jank. You know, a lot of times the stuff at the swap meet you see has been dirty, it's been used and abused. This is good stuff. This is Game Boy stuff. This is clean box Game Boy stuff. Most of it has the boxes. There's Game Boy Color, the beautiful atomic purple. There's all the main Mario games that you kind of are looking for. It's not like the crazy ones, but it's the good ones that you want to play, you want to enjoy, and heck, if you're a reseller, it's the ones that are easy to move because people love them. Digging through these games makes me so happy, not just because, you know, we're doing it and it's here, but because it just, this is stuff that gets discovered. It's always cool to me this stuff could easily accidentally be thrown away if Dusty didn't look through the right bin at the right time at the right place in the right cardboard box that he felt like opening up. So stuff like this to me is super cool that this stuff is being found. Show me, show me, what are you showing? So we're sorting boxes right now. Okay. See this? Old cards and correspondence. Okay. Fail. Trash. Trash. Now, the same boxes, what does this say? Game boxes and accessories. Okay, let's show them that. <laughs> Pretty Game interesting, Game boxes right? and accessories. Oh man, what's this? Oh, so, that, so that is an interesting thing to know because I don't do storage units, yeah. which by the way, I, I would love to talk to you about. Maybe you want to do it some for... Some days so it's trash and some days but you it's see trash. the same things, garbage, and then this. Can we open? Oh yeah. Come on in, Chris. Oh my goodness <laughs> oh. gracious, hot balls of fire! Are the games in here? Uh, some. This has the game. They're pretty complete, except I think a couple no. Wow, okay, so this Mario. This one no, and this, I, I think uh, this one no. I love the NES version of Elevator Action. It's <laughs> one of those, good? a lot of people don't, I wouldn't say it's good, no. but it's nostalgic. Wow, dude, so you got Mario Bros. Deluxe. You can come on in here, Chris. Mario Land 2, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Elevator Action, the Game & Watch Gallery. I've noticed, what a lot of good Look color. Original box. <laughs> Those oh, we love wow. getting the original boxes with it. Bonks, Ooh, dude. Awesome. That's a good one, bro. So, I mean, I'm going to want to buy these from you. I'm just letting you know now. But this is great. Is this in here? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Little pocket pool. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, pocket pool. <laughs> so, it's like high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Still do. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, dude. It's got all the manuals and stuff. So, it's just crazy. This was just in this range. So, if you would have been in one so, of those modes of just trash, you would have missed it. Yeah, basically, bro. Yeah, I mean, you got to open everything. Because, I mean, yeah. even sometimes you might peel open a piece of mail. Like one day at Golden West, actually, this is a funny, true story. So, just a tub of trash like this, completely full of mail. The dumpster guy comes, dumping it in the dumpster. I see like a bill envelope, you know, the little window with your address. It slides out of the box. Yes. I see a $2 bill. And I'm like, oh, shoot, there's a $2, $2 bill. bill. Oh, pretty cool, right? So I dig, I find it, open the envelope, $1,000 in cash. Mm -hmm. I almost threw it in the dumpster at Golden West, you, bro. <laughs> I, I feel like that's got to be like hard because there's so much stuff that you could be like, I can't open everything every moment. Oh, every, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, like you look at You look at like this is in here, yeah. then you look at like this crap. Unless you need a lifetime supply of IEC cables. Oh, you were saying you need those, Chris. <laughs> that's exactly why I came. Yeah, <laughs> You can oh, power dude. any computer. Actually good. <laughs> these, these ones are good. We could use those. Yo. Actually, these. We could use these for SoCal. Multi cords. We're gonna need about a hundred of those. Perfect. The Game Boy man had some T-shirts too. You want to see his T-shirts? Any good ones? Ah, it's pretty good. There's some '90s ones in here, bro. Like oh, this yeah, one's. This good. one's the best. Ooh, right is here. it MLK? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, MLK. On the fruit of the well. And wait for the back. Wait for the back hit. Wait for the back hit. Yo, that's fire! Isn't that bad? That is fire. Yeah, it's a good one, dude. Wow. There's a good. There's a few good. There's some weird bands in here too. I never heard of like this. Hey, I mean, my band. No, I'm sorry. Do you know Helicopter? Some like '90s, probably alternative. I'm guessing, or rock or something. But at least he had some shirts, you know. Good old. What was that snafu? Ooh, look at the back of that one. You see? That's oh, that's a great little thing. Yeah, it's nice, like just some 90s. Actually, this room had 18,000 comic books in it. They're just not oh, here. They're already gone. Mold. They're already gone? Already gone, yeah. Um, one lock? One lock. Next, Dusty starts showing us kind of everything that goes on within the workings of this. And I'm talking like, you know, a lot of times we see the stuff and think, okay, Dusty can just show up and everything's laid out for him. He's buying these lockers. This stuff's a mess. This is what they get. Some people go, what? They make jokes. Why does Dusty wax you? It's because 
he, this isn't, it's not he gets to show up with these good items. He has to search for them, use gas and time and mileage and hire people and work and make things happen and separate things and clean things and do things work, do they not work? Who's gonna buy, who can I trust, pay for storage. There's a whole bunch. So going through this digging process with Dusty, I think really gives us a good perspective on all this because sometimes we just don't know, right? You show up and you think, come on, dude, this is 20 bucks, give it to me for 10, but you don't think about what goes on in this stuff. What were you saying? So this is the nitty gritty part of this business. This is how we bring you stuff. What people don't see. What people don't see. Because a lot of people do, they'll say in the comments like, oh, not fair, you charge 80% yeah. well, and, and you it, just throw it in a truck and roll. It's like I say every week. I tell these customers, I'm like, hey, I don't have like a grandmother that passes away every week and I get a free garage full of stuff. You know, yeah. this stuff, there's labor, rent, diesel fuel, all the stuff that goes into it, you know? And people want to walk up and they want to buy a $300 t-shirt for $10 so they can go sell it for $300. i am like, dude, nobody's going to do all the work for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And also, this is Southern California, yeah. not Idaho. To get your box of Game Boy, this is all the crap that comes with it. So yeah, basically what he just said is like that, the, all that Game Boy stuff that you guys see, I mean, this is what you have to go through to get to it. You don't yeah. get to buy the lot and they go, by the way, here's the good stuff. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Like I, going through this is, by the way, I love doing it, but like you said, it is time, it is money, it is valuable yeah, minutes definitely. of the day. Especially for someone who's about to be a father, Next week, brother. Dusty's due yeah. next week. Oh, yeah. Next Let's week. Go. Let's go. Send Papa. gifts. Send gifts to Papa. our P.O. Box to Dusty. I'm serious. I would, normally, we never ask for stuff, but if anybody wants to send something to Dusty, P.O. Box down below. We never normally ask. But send diapers. Where'd you get this cool Chinese hat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, I think it goes to your free lamp that we're going to put in the back of your car. Oh, uh, I think I might be okay on that. Although, jewel cases. Oh, did I, I mention? I think I forgot you know? to tell you. Part of you coming here was filling the back of your car with trash. Oh no! Good thing I brought my small car. So I, <laughs> I wanted to ask you that. That's like after Golden West. Like, what? Where does most of the stuff end up? Does it end up in the trash? Um, actually, we have a guy that sells in Mexico. So we recycle all the stuff to another truck to where it goes over the border. Oh wow! No kidding. Yeah. Just so basically, wholesale. yeah. At the end of the day, I get rid of everything. everything. This truck leaves empty. And then we fill it again the next he week. He comes to like Golden West right after and just mm -hmm. boom, grabs yeah, it. Picks up, yeah, he buys the whole booth from me, picks it up and it's gone. Look at this, man. I'm a skateboard man. I'm an island boy, but I'm also a skateboard man. I have so many freaking skateboards now, dude. I'm so almost- That's a really good one. You know what that is? You know that Sims, one? yeah. Yeah, but that's late 70s. Bro, what year that's were you like born? That's like the, that's the beginning, 86. Ooh. Dang! I got bro. one year on that you guy. You guys are young bucks. How old are you, Grandpa? 80, 81. 81? <laughs> 1981, oh, I was oh. born. <laughs> you look decent. <laughs> I've told myself a hundred times that I'm gonna stop picking up skateboards, but we are building out a podcast studio for ourselves, and there are certain things I want on the wall, and I've been looking for more skateboards that have like a ghoulish look, a zombie look, a monster look, because that's something I love, and we immediately run across this board, Strange Love. Beautiful design, beautiful art, just looks so good. Wasn't planning on picking up skateboards. If anything, I need to start letting go of some skateboards, but I was like, okay, this is so cool. I'm just picking it up no matter what. I'm, I'm curious, there are skateboards. Can I go grab them? I'll go grab them. Oh yeah, yeah, mind. yeah, climb over. I don't mind. Crash. Here you go, Chris. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. It's already recording. Oh, jeez. I was about to throw my leg over this and my crotch would be right here. But this was here. But luckily, if I want to find my crotch, I got this. Oh yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. Any ones I need? Let's see. Couple skateboards. What is this? I don't know, Grimpy. Oh, that one's sick. The Strange Love. I don't know the brand, but just cool design. This would go good in the uh, the new podcast studio that we might be building, which we're waiting to get dusty on, but. I'm like, hey, can you come this day? He's like, that's literally my baby's story. Dusty on the, the podcast. Day. Kenny G live, <laughs> sealed? That's the man right there. Any CDs, bro? I know you're a CDs man. Look how sick these are, bro. Velvet Underground, but like... Vintage Nike. What size? Size 7. Dang it. <laughs> well, here, check this out. Man. What, what, what? How you know, you know what year they were? See the number? Yeah. 1982. 82, yeah. Let's go. Old school. Oh. 
Great, grateful Dead. Oh yeah. Keep doing like a box go. set. Feels empty. Though. So recently, I've got really into wearing these like baseball vintage tees. This is an XL, which would be big on me, but it's way too long, so it would look a little funky. I don't mind rocking things a little too big, like width-wise, but it's like for like a six foot seven man. I'm barely pushing like six six one if I'm lucky. Look at these. I was looking through. Look at these. Just pulled up some random art. Mel Blanc. Ooh. Speechless. That's a great one right here. I actually had a bunch of Mel Blanc stuff from a storage. Like really? Stuff. Yeah, oh, signed. look at this. It's like his personal stuff. What's his name? Gorgamer, Ergamer or something? What's his name? This guy? I just think of World Industry skateboards when I see him. You see something a Flame Boy or something? No, no, there's a World Industries character. It's just like in wow. or something. 150 bucks original price on this. Mm. That's not cheap for an original price, man. That's, That's like the six flags. But you roll up to the price. swap meet and just have all this good stuff. So five bucks. Oh, you 20. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dude, that's sick! Whoa. That's a cool one, bro. That's a, Yo, that's rad. Nice early one. That's when I liked Disney. Those are like 60s, huh? Yo, yeah, they got a ton of... That's packs. where I'm from. Where? Arizona, bro. Arizona, that's where you're from? Yeah. That's where the dust fall originated. <laughs> How long have you been on uh, Storage Wars, by the way? Uh, two seasons, I think, around there, roughly, okay. give or take. Okay, I'll save more of those questions for the podcast. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Simpsons Clue. Oh, a sealed clue! There's two of them. Let's go. I might want one of those low key. Maybe I'll take one. Put one of those aside for me. Dang, dude, look at this one. With instructional video. Yo yo man. Okay. Will you please <laughs> not rip me on this one. This is I have to send this to Retro Rick. He said I think he said this was his childhood yo yo video. No way. Was the yo yo man. I'm Get out of here, bro. I'm 90% sure. Get out of here. I'm 90% sure. Get out of here, dude. I'm 90% sure on one of his Get videos. Get out of here. That's awesome. Were you a yo yo guy? <laughs> I was. I was too, bro. Hey, do you remember uh I don't know if you had this but back in school they had like a day where everybody went to the auditorium. Oh yeah. And then they had the yo-yo guy come yep. Yep. and then they sold the yo-yos on your way out for Smart. like, they had two versions. I think they sold the Bumblebee for like 30 and then they had the crappy one for like 10 bucks. The original waxers. Yeah, original <laughs> waxers. I didn't have that in my school. Oh, that sorry. Awesome. They didn't have those in the hood. They didn't have that. No, they didn't have it in the hood. Walking over to one of Dustball's vehicles and I, I'm expecting to look at some Tasmanian Devil vintage banger clothes that I knew were coming. I knew these were coming, but on top of all that, right when he opened the doors, there's this Sonic 3 hat, a vintage Sonic 3 hat. It's beautiful. But then I also look at the back and I do realize it's crustacean to, it's crustaceaned over, and I definitely am not gonna grab it. Alright. So you gotta you gotta check out this collection I found the other day. This is a collection. <sighs> Only crazy people collect this much stuff of the same thing. Is it in here? It's in there, yeah. Jared Blur the license plate. Mostly a lot of good stuff goes in the little van, dude. That's where the mat. That's a. Uh, if you ever see the van pull into Golden West, you'll know it's a party day. Okay. You'll know it's only a high end. Oh, what's about that hat? <laughs> First thing I saw. Whoa. Let's go. Except Yo. The, the dog. No. <laughs> it was yeah. Zoom or Doom. It was definitely Doom. Oh, it was Doom, dude. No. I think That's you can get kid. these replaced. You can, yeah. But. Oh, it's a kid. It would fit, it would fit Curtis's head. <laughs> and he also starts pulling out some video games, which are completely unexpected. But then a game that I wasn't expecting to see. A Camerica game, Ultimate Stuntman. An underloved, underappreciated Camerica game. This game is rad. It plays completely different than most games you would think. It has a few different play styles. The game plays good. Now that's a big note because a lot of Camerica games, many of them aren't good. There are a few that are good, but I feel like they don't control that well. This game, Ultimate Stuntman, Ricky and I going back, we used to play Ultimate Stuntman. It was actually, even at the time when we played it back then, we'd be like, dude, I feel like this is an under talked about game. And by the way, can we show some love to the front cover and the way this game looks? Before I even dive in here, Ultimate Stuntman. So I really like Ooh, Ultimate it's Stuntman. It's a good one. Any, yeah. It's, never it's a it, bro. America like bootleg type of game. I wouldn't say most people are gonna love it, but it has like different style gameplays. Super fun, super unique. Bro, we, have, we didn't even get to the collection yet and this stuff's all just sitting here. Oh yeah, no, that's just probably stuff I grabbed and threw but, in there. Super clean yeah. Final Fantasy. Sometimes when you go and check the unit, you find like a little bit and you just toss it in the van yeah. real quick. When you go pay, you open a box, you're like, oh cool. How many game. times in your life do you think you found a Mario Brothers game on the original Nintendo? <sighs> Is that like the number one Nintendo game you find? Mario 1. Actually, I could tell you a story where I was really stupid. When I when COVID first ended, I was selling a Golden West and I, for some reason, Mario, the first three has just always been crap in my head. 
You know, just because. Yeah, yeah, it's so common. And I actually uh, wasn't thinking one morning, and I pulled out, I had Mario 1, 2, and 3, but I had Mario 1 in the original box. Oh. Yeah, and I didn't realize that. Yeah. And then I think I went home. At that time, it was hot, too. Yeah, and then I think I, I checked after I sold it for 20 bucks, and I was like, dang it, dude. I was like, that was an expensive game. Well. There's a little pile so we make of stuff. mistakes sometimes. Oh, we all do. Yeah. And you actually like are a gamer. Like you play video games. As I do. Well. I, yes. Well, I, I, you did. When I asked you about Zelda and stuff, you well, told me more than the average person could honestly, tell me. Honestly, I think I stopped playing games at PlayStation 2 almost. You know what? <laughs> I, mean, I will say. I think that's a good place to. Yeah, I think that's right. Don't I mean. hate. That's where I, I my I, my biggest love was yeah. Super Nintendo. Me too. And after that, I was like, I remember was good, when but. Super Nintendo came out. For Christmas, my brother got Sega, and Ooh. I got Super Nintendo. So I feel like Ooh, I got the, I got the real hookup. And then when I got linked to the pass, that was the only game I needed. I was so like, best, oh, uh, best game. Let me just Number let's go. Game. Let me just max out all three files. You Absolutely. know what I mean? You find it's just begun. The new Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Now you're playing with power and super. Power. Up next is kind of what I knew we were coming for, and that's Taz stuff. And speaking of Dusty, threw me this as a prime example. We start looking at Tasmanian Devil shirts. Tons of vintage ones. Now, I've made this clear before. Looney Tunes stuff can do really well. It used to do a better uh, maybe a few years ago, but Taz stuff still does well. It's still a desirable shirt company. A lot of these shirts, you can say the lower end ones, like low end are like 20, but they can range all the way up in the crazier ones like this to like 100, 200 bucks. Easy. So this kind of stuff is awesome. All right, Dusty. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can kind of see you peeking. But, all right, come over here, Chris, come check this out. Do you guys want any drinks? I'll take the uh, water. Just water. Thank you, though. You know you want Thank you. soda. I so can't. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's behind door number two. This is like a game show. <laughs> Have you ever seen so many Taz shirts in your entire uh, life? Explain to me how this happened. These are all Tasmanian Devil shirts. All from one owner that That's only loved crazy. Taz. Every shirt is Taz, almost. You might get some with multi-characters, but... Look at these. Like, I was how, asking Aaron that. I was like, how on earth? Look at this. Oh, there's some great AOPs, dude. A oh, lot that's of great a AOPs. good one. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of good ones. Wow. So, I mean, I, I'm a big uh, black wearer of shirts. Chill. So I like stuff. Look at that. Chill. So in the early days of tees, most of my friends who like aren't even into this kind of stuff, Taz was like their jam. Really? Like you rocked Taz as a kid. Like that was the cool, the staple for me was the old, uh, Bugs, Daffy, and Taz like this with the backwards hats, with the backwards pants. It's in there. It's in there? Probably. Oh, these are so great. Can you see them? You getting a good look, Chris? I think this person had a Taz shirt for every day of the week for like school. How you many know? are there total? How many are in here? Uh, over 200. Over 200. Look at this. Taz is interesting because Taz shirts can be like, they're like super desirable, but they range anywhere from like the like, Look like this could be like a twenty dollar one, but yeah. most of them go in like the. Oh, let me, let me put a blanket on the ground so you can put them down. So okay, you, so, so you, so you can dig in. So Dusty, do you have like kind of a, like if I buy a bunch of these, do you kind of have like a general price, or do you kind of want to be like depends how much you take or uh, what? Or... It just depends on uh, the heat level, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. The print, AOP, yeah, or yeah, yeah. regular size. You know, there's like a lot of factors, but got it. I think like the max they max out's like eighty to one. Yeah. For like a really super, super heat one. But I think a lot are going to be like in the 20 to $40 range. Yeah. Okay. And then the, you know how it goes. The more you buy, the merrier it gets. Yeah. And obviously I'd be keeping some. I'd sell a good amount as well. You know, we want to, we sell a lot on whatnot. Um, yeah. I'm going to start digging through these. Maybe have Chris dig through some as well. I wonder if it was a girls or guys collection. I think it's mixed. I think it's yeah. kids, dad, mom. You know, Unisex. Like the whole there's, Cur it. there's Curtis sizes all the way up to <laughs> rip sizes. Oh! This is a good one. Hey, I love this oh, one, that's dog. One. That's, like that's a, a good one. Classic. Oh, dude, look you at wanna, this guy. Do you want to sell them all or do you want to do like piece by piece? Look at that. It's, it's kind of fun. You know, yeah. I kind of like I like the stock. I feel like you would be a good stock to have. That's a good one. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of there's a good stock. That's a shadow. good one. Oh, I need that one. Okay, that's a must. The AOP. That's a good one. That's a pretty one. A nice color. What yep, you got, sure. Chris? Okay. Yeah. Oakland, hey, yeah, there is hundreds of Taz shirts in here. Just, I'll probably just start digging through and then come back with the what I want. Look at the happy face one, dude. He's just crushing the happy face. No happy times with Taz. 
No happy times to Taz. Taz was one of my. Favorites. I did. I found a couple for myself. A couple. There's a Phoenix Suns one. I had to, bro. The Phoenix, cause you oh, know, yeah. the OG Phoenix Suns oh, yeah. logo too. You know. So we're digging through the stuff, we're digging, we're digging, we're digging, and I'm just so thrilled to be pulling through each one of these. Rarely do you get to go through tons of tees, and they're like all good tees. There's no bad shirts in here, because when you're a clothing hunter as well, a lot of times you pull through clothes and you're just getting junk, 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 ooh, decent, junk, 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 good. This is like good, 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 great, good, 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 great. So this is exciting, this is fun. But now, the brutal part, the price. So I'm not even halfway through. Chris, you can check out Chris's pile right here. Chris, a little pile. Chris is going nice. I'll show him your pile. You kind of got the bad. You got the Raiders. Really good. I like the color Chris got on to that the. One. You got to this one before me. I was like, <sighs> it's I, I, I was though. thinking this. I, I invited him so that he would film. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he got some great ones. This is one of my favorite ones. I like ones the AOP ones. The all those. This is the one of the best ones. You son of a gun. Oh, you got this one. You butthole. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Here's, you know what, for that, I'm not folding yours. <laughs> oh, dude, the bottom one, bro. That, I know, that's a heater. That's a heater. Look at the bottom. So here's mine right now. I haven't gone for any oh, of the- Oh, I was throwing in your pile. Were you really? <laughs> yeah. I oh, no. Thing. Here's all the ones. I'm not going for as much of the AOP as Chris is. This one almost was. If that was double-sided, oh, that'd be one. wild. Dang, that one's sick. But This one's actually a meme. Oh, that's oh, you. Keep it, keep it. Just to go well, personal. no, it's because I'm super into um, Ed Roth and the hot rods, you know? So this is kind of like a very, oh, yeah. very Ed Rothy style. And I love this. Anything you can get like surf style, super rad. This is rad. These ones actually uh, are ones that I like, but I, they're not as crazy desired as you would think. Um, this one, I love this one. This is a keeper oh, for me. On this one is so sick. I love, love, love ones like that. Dang, that one That's a so wild one. That one the awesome. color on this. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Look at this. <laughs> Monino, Monino. Look at this. Look at now. Here's the only AOP I grabbed so far. Oh, well, got some good ones. But yes, working on it as you can see. But look behind Chris. Show him, Chris. I am nowhere near done. Oh, dude, look at this one. In here. Look Show at this us, one. Just. Oh, Justin, let me grab Chris, get out of here. <laughs> I shouldn't have invited you. <laughs> no, go for it. Go for it. I like that one a lot. All right. I don't know. <laughs> here I go. Back I like in. The, I feel like by the time you guys are done, you're gonna be buying everything. Dude, can you tell me what anime character this is? Check this jumpsuit out. It's like what? from the 70s, it's crazy. Look, check this out. Whoa. Look how cool this is. Looks like Doki Doki Panic. Dude, really, what? Look, and then check this out, check out the tag. Oops, on this side. Look what? at the tag. What in the world is it? It's Japanese. Do we know what it is? I don't. That's why it's fun. Man, that Dang, thing's pretty man. though. How cool, don't you oh. wish it was your size? I have a daughter who might rock that. Uh, yeah. Where's it's 60s stuff? or 70s? It's 60s, 70s. It's probably more 70s. Wow. What's this? How about the OG Tony Hawk? Yo, let's go. Old Tony Hawk shirt? That's a good one too. Actual Ooh. old Tony. What was stubbies? What's that? Uh, what's in your pants right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, the Curtis size uh, Tony Hawk shirt. Oh. Sorry. What are you bringing over, Buffy? I got these uh, the horror magazines that I like. Dang, so you want those? I do like these. Look at look at my stack. So there's Chris's stack. It's kind of what he's This was at. Dusty's. Oh, and that's Dusty's. I got this pile and this right here. Look at this though. Here's my pile. Giant pile of tees. Pile of games. What about the original tour? Skateboards. Package, what? That is sick. Crew only. What? How much is, is that? Is it bad? Six hundred bucks. Oh. Yeah. That whoa, is sick. right. Rare. Dude. This is a crew only. You couldn't buy this like at the merch shop. Oh, I know. This guy, uh, this guy worked for Michael Jackson, dude. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, here's the rest of my stuff. So as you guys remember, oh, this snuck in there as well. So, all right, let's see. I, mean, I, I had to brag to Ricky. I mean, if you don't brag to your friends who couldn't make it, why are you even collecting? You gotta have fun with your friends. You gotta poke at them. You gotta show them the things they couldn't go to. Real talk, I invited Ricky. He couldn't make it. He couldn't get out there in time. It's okay. Dusty was like, we gotta call Ricky. We gotta show him. And uh, Ricky had a good reaction. He was happy to see it. I, uh, he's a little sad about the shirts, but um, you gotta call your friends. You gotta, you gotta rub it in a little once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Ricky, look at this. What's up, dude? Hey, what up, G? Look at this, bro. Ricky. Start showing him. 
Ready? Look at this. Dang! Look at all this. <laughs> Want to see my stack of shirts? All Taz. Oh shoot! Look at Chris. Show them one of them, Chris. Show them yeah, that Chris, top one. Show them how you took all the good ones, Chris. <laughs> Dang! Pretty good. Dang. Hard. Ricky couldn't come and couldn't make it, so Dusty said we had to Just call him and show him. Yeah, dude, gotta show him. Dang! Make him, make him jelly while he's working. Wait, Ricky, look. Da, 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 da. <laughs> look at all these. Dang. Yeah, Woo. crazy. I'm about to ask for prices now. This is where the butt reaming happens, so I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, Ricky, I'll hit you later. I just wanted to get that on video. I'm recording this. Ricky. Hi, doggies. Uh, play. So just uh, watching Dusty right now pick out all the shirts one by one. I, I don't know how many shirts I probably got. What do you think, like 40? 40 maybe 50 shirts so I mean if you think about that that'll come out to a good amount plus all the games and stuff over there and stuff so could be a little tense all in all in the end I ended up paying $1,400 for everything now that comes out to like maybe around a little less than 20 a shirt plus the games plus the skateboards plus some of the other stuff plus he threw in some stuff I think crisp ended up paying like a thousand I was more than happy with this deal but this is the kind of thing where after a day like today, I really got to get my fingers and my feet wet and kind of, is that even how you say it? Fingers and feet wet. Deep dive into seeing what goes on and realizing, yeah, this is a lot of work. This isn't as simple as many say. So I'm happy, completely even more happy that we got to experience a day like today. This was awesome. Dusty, my level of love has gone up for you even a little higher. Dusty, any last final words for the people about uh, all this jazz in this world? Wax dumb. <laughs> Where, where's the Bugs Bunny? Flexing? Where's the Where's the Bugs Bunny Hall next? <laughs> we're looking for. All right, that's it. That was wild. That was awesome. I loved that to a core. That's something I've never got to experience before. Is like the in and outs of this. It makes you respect it more. Like we made a dent on this place. I spent fourteen hundred bucks. Chris spent nine hundred. But I am sweaty and dirty, and we were only here for like two hours. And this is what they're doing all day, manual labor. So more respect to the wax. For my son.